Ford GTB, the ugliest lorry I've ever seen. Dating from 1942, the Ford GTB was a low-profile forward control truck developed for the US Quartermaster Corps for use in combat zones during 1942. It looks a bit like a cut-down jeep to me, or a jeep with a lengthened chassis. Prototypes had been produced by Dodge, Ford, Chevrolet and others in the 3.5 ton and 1.5 ton weight classes, despite testing continuing into 1944. The Ford GTB was the only vehicle to enter production. The GTB was based on a commercial truck. Now I didn't know that. And the low silhouette was achieved by placing the driver alongside the engine. There's something else I didn't know which was offset to the right. The engine was a Ford six-cylinder driving live axles through a four-speed gearbox and two-speed transfer box, both single and twin rear wheel versions were produced. Some were equipped with a front-mounted winch. Total production was 15,274. The US Army and US Navy took 8,218 cargo vehicles, GTBA, and 7,066 of the Mark II variant were supplied to the US Navy. They probably used them during the Korean War as well. Stats. Type, truck, cargo, 1.5 ton, 4x4. Manufacturer, Ford Motor Company, Dearburn, Michigan. Production 1942 to 1944. Power plant Ford GAT six cylinder inline petrol water cooled 3703cc side valve. Power output 90 bhp at 3400 revs per minute. Transmission 4F1RX2. Part time 4x4. Suspension live axles on semi elliptical multi leaf springs, hydraulic double acting shock absorbers, brakes, vacuum assisted hydraulic, electrical system 12 volts, dimensions length 4597 millimeters or 181 inches. Width 2,184 millimetres or 86 inches. Height tilt in place 2,540 millimetres or 100 inches. Minimum 2,083 millimetres or 82 inches. So more than likely you could get this in a flying box car. Wheelbase 2921 millimeters or 115 inches. Weight unladen 3289 kilograms or 7250 pounds. Payload 1500 kilograms or 3307 pounds. And performance 72 kilometers an hour or 45 miles an hour. If you want a restoration project, then just head over to Arizona, because there's lots of these rusting out in the desert. Now really, I should have gone into a bit more detail, saying that the US Marine Corps had them, they were also used as bomb tractors, and a few more things. But to be honest, over the past week or so now, I have been pretty run down. I usually get like this at this time of year, unfortunately. But of course, because there hasn't been a video for the last few days, I thought, hey, why not? Get a video done, a short video, and just get it on. And then, of course, you guys can watch it. Um, I do not like this truck by any means. I've never liked this truck. So maybe in the future there might be an update to this video, but I very much doubt it. <laughs> 